Lovely Despe. Let's go, try and get himself over Let's for another go, evening. Come on. I want you to get out. Ah, come on, EC. Come on, EC. Oh, no. The bear has been poked. Nothing wrong with a little bear poking. We were talking, oh, it's like an, an end of term atmosphere in these undercard tags on the last couple of nights in the G1. I wouldn't want to go to the same school that these two went to. No. Hey. Come here, man. I need more of me in my headset. Kevin likes to hear the sound of his own voice. It's one of the ways I keep my voice from blowing out. Because I got today and tomorrow. We got business. Oh, Doki tags himself in. Doki and Archer, first time acquainted, I would think, today. Yeah, good point. Uh, Doki came into the New Japan Circle in Best of the Super Juniors in 2019. I don't believe they crossed paths in Lance Archer's last year one. In fact, Doki back in a New Japan ring here, first time since the 21st of June. Actually, his first match, period. In just over a month, he and Kanemaru beat Soma Watanabe and El Lindemann in gate, late last month. It's not this, it's this. I need more of me. It's arguing with the A2 over here. It's always arguing. It's not that. I don't need it louder. Just tell them to turn Kevin up, for Christ's sakes. Uh-oh. Uh oh Turning the drums up in the mix of the Chaos guys. Hey, come on now. That's a legend. It's just not cricket. Uh oh. And an offside googly to Lance Archer. Oh no. Zach puts himself immediately between Lawler and his corner. As now he's yeah, come driving come Lawler back towards yeah, come on. Yeah. the dangerous Tecker's side of the ring. Feel the snap of those uppercuts. Man, so good at changing levels, all it there, and then into the cravat, burying the knees. Hold him a bell end. That's not very nice. Oh, stops the kick. Man, this could be something. I'd love to see Tom Lawler and Zack Sabre Jr. in the same block of G1 Climax 33. Yeah. Nice, got a scorpion. Zach transitioning up to the head. Close the arm. Take down. Tom trying to squeeze oh, out. Nice. So fast on the offense. Yeah. I think yeah. almost, he was almost trying for a Boston Crab there. Yeah. Yeah. I think both of these guys have forgotten that this is a tag team match, Kevin. A little bit of one-upsmanship, and this could end to lead to the end of this match. Oh, double race. Shades of the grappling exhibition Zach Sabre Jr. had with Katsuyo Shibata at last year's G1 final. Oh, and Honma escaping that corner but running right into Jonah, and that brings Tito in, and here comes Makabe. Man, normally a double tackle on, or excuse me, a double clothesline from Togi Makabe is a guarantee the opponents are going to fall. in this, involved in this G1 Climax Tour. I'm telling you, I keep on getting on Obari. We need best of the super heavyweights next week, next year. Yeah. Well, I like that. I like the acronym, too. Yeah. We've got a hashtag, NJ Bosch. Oh. Brilliant. 
All right, so the touch on the back and referee Jeremy Marcus will declare Jonah legal. I gotta believe that, I know FTR is just itching to come over here and defend these tag team titles against anybody. They don't care who it is. So whether it is a more technically savvy team like Dangerous Techers or pure power here with Jonah, bad dude Tito, a combination of both with Aussie Open, former tag team champions. Yeah, and we're gonna have to figure out who this number one contender team is. Yep. You know, and I guess you start kind of at the top with the former champs and the team who held the titles before them as bad dude Tito will slingshot his way in across the midsection. Yeah, so Lee O'Connor and Jeff Cobb are in that mix, but then Aussie Open. Great O'Connor nearly defeating Switchblade Jay White. Yeah, well, nearly. I know, and, and I... Show your power. There was so much good that came out of the Great O'Connor's first G1 in, in 21. Wasn't able to, du to duplicate that this year. I think it's, again, that post-G1 time. What do we do? What's the game plan going to be going forward? Well, Great Okan was uh, yeah, admitting backstage as that as the more you get yeah. defeated, the more you learn, and yeah. kind of a little bit philosophical yeah. and taking yeah. that approach with him, yeah. taking everything to the bank yeah. and coming back stronger. That puts Fale back on his heels. And the rogue general answers with a thrust in the throat. The great O'Kine came into man. What came from the UK into New Japan in the United Empire pretty much two years ago at the G1 Finals. Since then has come a long, long way and got a lot of hype behind him, but... Chase Owens with the cheap shot. One still, of Chase's two victories was over the Great Okan. Still a lot more of Great Okan's journey in front of him than behind him. No doubt about it. I mean, we... We look at how far the great Okan, Okan has come so fast, and you forget that it is just a couple of years removed from excursion, but has potential to be a main event star for a long time to come. Doesn't take a whole lot to get a victory over him. Kenta with the elbows and the rear chin lock. And now, the man who put Shingo in this state and eliminated Shingo from the D block. Yeah, Fantasma was all business all the way through this G1, but uh, now that his G1 is over, Fantasma getting in on some of this humiliation here. It's almost like the worst element of Bullet Club, the House of Torture, kind of rubs off on Fantasma and vice versa. Trying to take that tape off. Yeah. Again, that tape keeps everything tight and together. But drop Shingo right on his dome with the CR3. And now he's got him hooked up, and he's going to go for it again. Shingo able to extricate himself, but far from move offensively. Pop up. Oh, and he can't even oh, complete no. the Death Valley Driver. Just yeah. collapses. As soon as he popped up, hoisted him up, as soon as Fantasmo landed on his neck. She goes, Daddy. Now he's tuning up the band, looking for sudden death. Here we go. No, Shingo catches the boot. Loads up and, well, Fantasmo ducked. Got the DDT, both men feel it. Shingo may have even gotten worse. The worst end of it, if you can believe it. Evil gets tagged in. Shingo no, nowhere near the LIJ corner as Evil launches Hiromu into the third row. Dragon screw. 
and Ishimori now tagged in. And of course, the, the last big match that Kushida had before he departed for the States was at Wrestle Kingdom, and it was a it was definitive a, victory. Yeah, it was a blowout. Taiji Ishimori capturing Cover. the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. He's gonna stay on it. Making Tanahashi trying to get that three, but Tanahashi will not stay down. Jay White and Tanahashi picking up a lot of previous here today. Must to Jay White's chagrin. Just the one defeat for Jay White, five and one. Tied with Tama Tonga, 10 points, but Tama with the victory yesterday gave him the tiebreaker and the B block. Just the one block final, in spite of all the success that Jay White has had. Wow, knife edge chop. Oh, twist and shout. Kishi wants in. Shida has lots of big designs for spending the rest of his wrestling life in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Oh, oh. Kushida form knocked down. And the cartwheel drop kick. Perfectly done. Man, the people are so happy to see Kushida home. Yeah. I, there was a lot of speculation that when Kashida came back, maybe it would be. And look, Bloody Sunday worked like a charm to Jay White. Oh, the drop kick, Okada extending the legs and putting Tama down. And now, Tama Tonga, here we go. Raymaker, no. Oh, he got it down. Across the neck. Bloody Sunday, leg is hooked, great by two, almost had it. Okada has felt that shot from the innovator, Prince Devitt. Tama almost as effective with it right there. And now he's closing in. This is what did it in the G1 last year. Okada has the answer this year. He's got the answer and he's got the wrist. Oh, he does. And at the 15 minute mark, an all too familiar position for opponents of Kazuchika Okada. It's time to meet your Rainmaker. Does Tama Tonga have an answer? Here we go, Rainmaker. Yes, he does, but not oh. for long. That might have been his last sketch Wait effort. Wait a minute. But maybe not. Uh-oh, landslide. Now it's over. This, here we go. Oh, oh, man, 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 God's 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 but he can't make the cover Can't him. Him Fans across Japan voted these two guys, the number four and number seven best professional wrestlers active in the world. Well, Osprey, the top foreigner. Well, I think oh. they're trying, they're fighting to prove they should be one and two tonight. And the hit Here we go, we haven't seen it. But we will now. No, we no. won't. He didn't get all of it, but he might have gotten enough. All of you, like Chris and I, are watching this on the edge of your seat. Do you think Osprey should have gone for the cover after the hidden blade? 
Perhaps. But the Stormbreaker is certainty. Except if you're Tetsuya Naito, who has a counter for a counter for a counter. Oh, man. Osprey had nothing on that kick. Oh, look at this. All right, trying to hoist him for Valencia. Osprey up and over. Oh. Got the heart to the eye. To the eye. To the hard eye of Naito. And oh. now. No. But Osprey able to not crash and burn, but instead is driven into the deck with the spine buster. Now, here we go. Bring up the arm. No. Oh, no. Bring up the neck. Chelsea Grin. And he won't be smiling anymore if he can bury that elbow into your eye socket.